Polling is an effective way to engage students. Imagine you're teaching a class of 30 students. You can use polling to get their feedback on a particular question or, more importantly, test their knowledge on the content you're teaching. For sensitive topics, Big Blue Button also supports anonymous polling. Let's take a closer look now. To start a poll as a presenter, select the Action menu on the lower left corner of the presentation window and then select Start a Poll. The polling menu will open with several options. Use one of the present options to start a poll in two clicks. Here I select True or False and then Start Poll. Big blue button will prompt each other for their responses and show you the responses live as they come in. When you're ready, you can click Publish Poll to make the results visible to everyone in the chat and the presentation. You can click the X to end the poll and not publish the results. Big Blue Button also supports anonymous polls. Let's do the same poll again, this time choosing Anonymous Poll. Notice the results from students are not individually identifiable. These are great for encouraging students to participate in discussions around sensitive topics and it can even improve and empower reluctant students to join in. Beyond the preset options, Big Blue Button also rewards spontaneity by allowing you to create custom polls on the sport for emergent subjects. You can edit the poll responses. Let's choose A, B, C and D. Notice there are each editable fields. Here I change them to agree, some would agree, some would disagree and disagree. Finally, we will add one more field to have five, which is the maximum number you can have. Now, when I do the poll, these are the options users can choose. You can have users give their own response to polls. Select the user response option and in the text box above, type in your question. A common request is to have the poll set up ahead of time for students. Big Blue Button can also detect when your slides have poll-like questions. Say you're preparing a presentation for your class on the Republic of Rome and you want to quiz your students on the content. When you insert a polling question with responses on a slide with a number of possible responses, Big Blue Button will automatically pull the number of responses and propose a one-click pull button. Let's take a closer look on how you can do this now. To create smart slides, put your poll question at the top followed by the possible choices. Use the built-in formatting for alphabetical lists so the students see A for the first option, B for the second option, and so on. Notice the presentation area shows an ABC button in the lower left-hand corner. Selecting this button immediately starts the poll. For true or false and yes or no questions, you can put the text true, false and yes, no in the slide as shown and Big Blue Button will give you the associated quick poll button. As you can see, polling can be an easy and effective way to engage with your classroom. Big Blue Button comes with a variety of other tools similar to polls that work to make the online experience better. Check out some of our other videos to learn more. Hope you enjoyed our how to use polling video and look forward to seeing you in the next one.